Oh, this is a big one. This is a big one. Oh, he's on the top taking his head. Oh. Oh my goodness. You are kidding me. What's going on guys and welcome to another Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure. Now about a month ago now I was chatting with my mates at Wilson Fishing and they said they've got a new lure coming out that they reckon will be dynamite on flathead. Whole heap of other species but flathead absolutely number one. Now you can't make a claim like that without backing it up and it's taken about a month to line this trip up but I'm here today with the flathead whisperer himself <laughs> Troy Dixon. Mate well first of all can we have a little bow peep at what we're going to be fishing with today? Hey, we're going to be fishing with this 130 mil Defiance. So that's a little hard body twitch bait. Yeah. That is prime flathead size. And you reckon it's going to be gone? Oh mate, it's going to go good. Yeah. They've been working really well. Well, there you go. You heard it first. Now we're going to do a whole heap of tackle talk and stuff about this a bit later on. But it's prime bite time. We're going to have a bit of a fish first. Um, Mate, what are you, you're going to go with that one first? Yep, I'm going to throw it on the bait caster gear. I'm hoping you bought more than one because I don't have any. They're that new, I don't have any yet. Well, there's a couple lying around any, so I think you'll be right. I'll be right, yeah. righto. No. Well, let's have a cast and then we'll have a bit of a chat later. No. Righto guys, I've selected the pearl number. That is an absolute morsel. But what has got me worried though is when Dicko, the flathead lord, <laughs> picks a different colour. Mate, why have you gone that colour and, and not pearl? It's got a bit of flash in it, mate. Bit of flash, bit of a red orange belly. Looks good, but not as good. We will see. We might as well have a quick chat before we get stuck too hard into the action. These are a pretty shallow diving lure. There's a shallow and a deep yep. I, I saw there. So what sort of areas would we be targeting like straight off the bat to twitch one of these through? Oh, so like that two foot? Yep. Yeah, you sort of wouldn't want to go much more shallower than that with it, but it is a slow floating lure, so it will, um, you know, if you can, if you work it slow enough, it will. You can just work it straight across the top of the weed, or edges of the sandbanks, or whatever. Right up where they're hunting. That's it. And by the looks of it, you can see more in there. Got a nice little erratic action. So I'm not going to talk about what I'm doing action-wise, but it looks very similar to yours. Oh, it's pretty much a barra twitch, It's mate. just a twitch, isn't it? Twitch with a long pause. I like, well, I've done a bit of this kind of twitch baiting for, for flatties before, and I find the long pause has always served me well, and, and you as well. Yeah, definitely. And on that slack line, too, is that it's sort of, you know, you always want to have that slack line. I've, I've found anyway. Well, that's yeah, that's what I look for. I watch my line and you see it go tick. Yeah. And um, and that's generally when a flatty has gone, thanks for coming. Usually with these things, they just smash it. So any of these bigger baits, they usually just hit it quite aggressively. Yeah, it does. It does. It's obviously 130 mil, that's a fair sized bait, but you know, to a 50 or 60 centimeter flathead, that's that's just an average snack, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's it. They'll fold a big garfish in half, no worries. Well, that's pretty much what it's imitating. A garfish. Little garfish twitching across the flat. Well, I can understand why you're excited about them because they look pretty good. <laughs> I'm keen. Still fishing, Sammy. It's still fishing. Still fishing, that's the thing. That's the thing. Have the best gear and still catch nothing. That's it. But not today. No. Well, I guess that's another thing we should touch on from, from the start. We're definitely going to give these defiances a red hot crack, but being a, a flat style lure and right up in the shallows, there's going to be certain instances where they aren't the, the best tool for the job, and that's where we're going to quickly change over to a little plastic. We've got some, some flat shads rigged up there, ready to rock and roll. And that's, you know, that's the key to this style of fishing. You've got to stay versatile. You, if you get stuck in your ways, you're missing fishing opportunities. Oh, 100%. Well, in the, in the end, you're out fishing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's cool to catch them on one thing, but you still want to catch fish at the end of the day. Well, what I've found with these is, um, is you've got if you've got two guys fishing, and sometimes they come up and they just swirl. You'll see a big swirl, 
and they don't they don't fully commit to it. And then you pick up a plastic, like a three inch plastic or something like that, like the little flat chad. See how you just had a swirl on your roof. <laughs> I wish I was watching. <laughs> so that, that would have been prime time to get it eat. Yeah. So you get a swirl on your lure, and sometimes you just throw a plastic in and they eat it. Because yeah, they right. yeah. Ooh, nah, that was don't a, do that to us. That was a weed. Come on, flathead. It's not going to turn into your cod video, is it? Oh, steady, <laughs> steady. That's some that's some big chat from you early on. Early on, I've, I've called you the flathead whisperer, and you're throwing chat already. I'll tell you what. How about your first flathead? I'll land it by hand. Right, eh? We all know how well that goes. Deal. <laughs> you can land it by hand. Now, seeing there is no flathead classic this year, what do you say we have our own flathead classic today? Right, eh? Mono e mono. What are we doing? Length? Or, uh, just lo longest? Biggest? I, re I reckon biggest fish. Okay, right there. Biggest fish. What are we putting on the line? I reckon. Well, being the flathead lord, how about you put together a flathead pack? Can yeah. Give away a flathead pack? Yeah, bloody oath. Yep. And how about. <laughs> yeah, here we go. How about included in the flathead pack the lure that catches the biggest flathead? That exact lure, we'll chuck that in as well. Right, eh? Righto, you have to look down the barrel of the camera so people know you're not kidding. Righto, no worries. You guys heard it first. If I beat Dicko today, he's going to put a flathead pack up for grabs. Um, we'll chat about how to actually enter into this comp a bit later. This is just cut off the cuff, spur of the moment sort of stuff. But there is going to be a prize pack hopefully up for grabs if I can um, have a little win today. Are you feeling confident? I'm always confident. Day. Day. <laughs> right, it's on. So for those wondering, this is what we're fishing on. You can see those weed beds there. We're sitting out in the sand. And then we're casting forward towards those weed patches and that, that, that slightly deeper water. And that bait is getting pushed off the, the shallow sections there into the deeper water. Hopefully that's where the flathead will be sitting. I'm going to have to, before we leave, I'm going to have to throw a plastic in. Okay, that's all right. Got to, there's got to be a fish in this gutter. Has to be. I love how the second turns into a competition. <laughs> oh, no holes barred. <laughs> yeah, well, we said there was no rules. Mate, I'll be chucking the cast net and getting a live potty to hang out Fair the back enough. soon. That's okay, you can hang that off the back of your lure. No rules. Is that a fish? Got him on. <laughs> well, due to the lack of oh, it's not terrible. Hang on, I'm gonna I'm gonna get it with my hands. Hold this. This is for you, Shauno. Oh, this is gonna suck. <laughs> You'll probably lose it too, Sean, don't worry. <laughs> Watch the hooks on your gut. Oh, no. This is gonna take just as long. You want to go the other? You want to go the other I need back. a better platform. <laughs> Here we go. How, how about we just lift it in? No, not happening. Okay. No. We're on. Oh. <laughs> We're on ish. I'm trying my best to lose it for you. There oh, we go. Stop. Are we allowed to put it on the carpet? Yeah. <laughs> Are we allowed to put it on the carpet? Well, it's a new boat. Well, I had to just have a go, Sammy, with the plastic because there just had to be. Just looked. The it tide running looked out too now. good. Yeah, it just did. Well, I'll, yeah, I'll grab that because that's going to be around the lecky soon. Just had to. Now, oh, look at that hook's just going to fall out. Out of ten, what do you give my hand grab? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, do you reckon I should like keep use that? Doing that all yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, I reckon so. Yeah. Right. Oh, well, let's get a, a quick little look at this fish. <laughs> little is the word. Little is the word. We'll grab him. Go oh, on. In the in the no, I'm not grabbing. <laughs> Don't be a wuss. In the Flathead Classic, this would be a perfect size scoring fish. But in the Top Gun, this is food. Come on, stick your thumb in his mouth. Come on, little fella. Treat him with respect. It's about 43, 44 centimetres. 
Well, it's a it's, good good duck breaker. We're on the board. Yeah, like I said, this is food for the ones we want to catch. Anyway, we'll little, let this little fella little go. Little releasey. There you go. Be have, versatile. Get the bite. You have to. You have to be. If we're at, in the end, we're out here fishing, even though we want to catch them on that particular lure. We're still fishing. Look at that. How many to cast was that? Does that third? Second? Let's not go into details. It wasn't many. I reckon but, it was three. Hmm. Or I think it was. Or it was two and a half. Maybe. Yeah, actually, it might have been on the third one. Anyway. No. Oh well. We'll see if we can have another couple of casts with the plastic. I will be upset if he takes out the day on a uh, on a 43 <laughs> though. That, that'll really grind my gears. <laughs> but I'm still confident. I'm still oh, confident. Oh, don't worry. I'm confident. We've got a couple of good spots to try them, especially when that tide starts coming back up. Nah, we're on the board, and that's the main thing. Bit of a rain delay at the minute, guys. So we're just going to run one camera because water is indefinitely going to be on the lens. That's all right, Dicko. If you hook up, just scream out. Plenty of noise from you. No oh, this is where braid good quality rods comes into play. You can pretty well feel the second these lures aren't swimming properly because they've got it. A fair twitch on them. And if they're not swimming properly, there's no point working them the whole way back to the boat. Rip them in, clear them off, cast into a bit clearer water. Not sure. Yeah, no, I've got him. Oh, Dicko. Now, how's it feel? Little. little. Oh, you've downsized. Well, I guess that's a good, good little um, play for <laughs> little fish eat big lures. Well, look at that, that's nearly half the size of him. Can we change the saying to peanuts eat peanuts? Yeah, bloody hell. Look at this, this is a little peanut. Let's have a quick look at him. He's had no trouble having a crack at it. No. And two, three trebles, easy hookups. Yes, I have to say, I reckon that's the smallest one I've caught on the definers. Anyway. <laughs> well, you're two up on me. I'm glad it's not a numbers game because I'm falling behind at a great rate of knots. See you when you're about four times the size. At least. Well, nicely done. <laughs> yeah, well that's the thing. Find his girlfriend. In the morning, I said, mate, I'm going fishing. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Oh, you got him? Yeah. There you go. Good fish? Nah, it's not massive. Tell you what, you're whispering this morning. Do you require a net or are you going to pole? I'm just oh, going to pole, mate. Look at him. Oh, He's a scorer. He's a scorer. He's a, better. He's a scorer, but crikey. We want his mum. We do want his mum. He landed on his head. Yeah. Well, he ate it pretty much in the first jerk. Twitch, I should say. We won't call it a jerk. We'll call it a twitch. Oh, we're looking twitch, at a jerk. Twitch. And you caught him on a twitch. Anyway. Oh, are you going to hold him properly or are you just going to stand there like, like oh. a weekender? Just tell your mum, Just we'll, we'll just want to take a photo of it and let her go. That's all we want to do. I'll even do the honest plea if you want, mate, or do you want no, to hold no, him? No, no, you, oh, you, you go. If you were going to keep a feed of fish... Oh, perfect size. Absolutely spot on. <laughs> he wants to stay here with us. Yeah. You ready? Not big enough. I'd be happy with that, to be honest. I haven't got a you nibble know, yet. I've got a pike. Know, I'm still happy catching it, but we want to catch a big one. We do want to catch it. Maybe I'm just saving myself. Yeah, you are. I'm just building suspense. You know, you guys going, oh no, there's going to be no prize pack up for grabs because Sammy can't catch anything because he's useless. <laughs> I got you guys. Don't worry. Hang in there. I'm going to change colours. Secret. Go, just go Look at in, that. into the table. Hang on a minute, that's been underplayed. Give us a quick little squizzy at this this hatch here. This is the, the treasure trove. <laughs> Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Does your boat look like that? Free rig ready to rock and roll. Oh. You can see I use a lot of flat shads. 
Yeah, look, there's a few there ready to rock and roll. Yeah, all different size heads, rigged up. What, and what colour are you changing to? I'm going to, um, I'm going to put this green, this, green. I'm going to put this thing on. I was thinking of going that purple one. Purple one with a bit of, no, no, that other one with a purple top and the, and the mirror. Oh yeah, a bit more flash. Bit of flash. Well, there you go. Thank you, leave it out. I was yeah, I'll go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go fluoro. Peacock bass, isn't it? Yeah, that's what they call it, I think. Peacock bass. Prevalent around the, uh, <laughs> the Gold Coast region. Something a bit... Stand out here. Yeah. <laughs> See if it works on the plastic, so why not? Why not? Well, you changed lure, and he's given you a run around as well. Just hooked on the top of the head. So. Would you like a net? Oh, he's a better fish. He's almost a net. Ah, we'll just pole him, you know. Pole him in. Well, I decided to go this one. <laughs> I haven't even tied it on yet, and Dicko's caught one on his peacock. Is that is that four nil now? I think so. That's a nice fish too. Yeah. That's a nice. That's almost. We're almost gonna have to take a photo of that, I think. Yeah, we're going to take a photo. Oh, Dicko doesn't like taking photos of fish under a metre and a half. Oh, I thought we could just save it for a big one. Well, at the moment, mate, that is our big one. That is the current leading fish. It might be 50 centimetres. Maybe a bit over. Drop a knee. Look at that, Dicko. <laughs> Dicko. He's a poster boy. Drop Dicko. a knee. Loved it. Loved it. I think it was the second cast of the change of colour. Awesome. Well, Whatever you're doing, it's working. It's definitely working. Nice little fish. Again, another perfect egg size. Oh, yeah. Take a feed. In the Flathead Classic, these are perfect scoring fish. These just rack up the numbers so quick when they're that size. And we'll get him back. Hopefully, you can, well, you don't want to find him in the, in the shootout, do you? No, nah, he's too small for me in the shootout, I think. Spoil. Spoil. <coughs> nah, if he's my bottom fish, I'll be still happy. <laughs> if he's my fish at all by the end of the day, I'll be happy. So Sammy, this rod here is the one of the prototype versions of the blade and tails. So we go through a fair bit of this product testing. Product testing. I hope you don't try and call this work. No, not at all. No, no, no. You only do this on your weekends. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. most of the time. That's all right then. But that's what you know. That's what we do. You got to do it. Otherwise, how would you know it works? And then we end up with the product that's in your hand. What I've got, I've got the blade and tails. Yeah. Seven foot, six to 12 pound. Yeah. yeah, well this is the four to eight. So this is the slightly lighter that's one. That's the lighter one. In, um, this is six foot 10. Six foot 10. Good for the plackies. I want a bit stiffer so I can whack this lure. You might be able to see it just come into view there. I've got Polaroids on, so I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not, but. It Bit certainly of a does. Hard tip, harder rod, you can whack it and, and dance it along. Or is it a lighter rod? Was that how many casts was it? Was oh, it? I don't know. It was a there he is. It's only a little one. It's only a little one. But that would be number five. <laughs> five nil. If I was on your Flathead Classic team, would you be thinking relegation? No, I'd just be thinking you're saving yourself for the big one. I like your way of thinking. Yeah. I like your way of thinking. Look at look at that. He he wanted to eat he it. He but... absolutely scoffed it. You're gonna have to show that to the camera at the back because I'm gonna keep fishing. Mm, look at this. You take the floor. Little, little he in certainly mouth wanted to eat it. That's for sure. <laughs> Down the hatch. Only a little one, but certainly wanted it. Bye. Just like that, the flattered whisperer whispers his way further. I'm glad it's not a cumulative. I'm cl super glad I didn't agree to that. Yeah. We would have been, I would have been in a world of hurt. That's what I said. You're saving yourself. Save yourself for that big one. Yep. Better one. He's on again. No, no, he's only a little one. Or is it just a big one that doesn't know it's hooked yet? Nah, it's just a... Is that on the plastic? Oh, he's not bad. 
Oh, he's woofed it too. <laughs> the plastic. Oh, he's in the, he certainly wanted to eat it. He didn't miss. No, he didn't. In the boat. Struth, I'm getting towelled here. Mm, no big ones, but mate. No big ones, but well, anyway, mate. Mate, if you're out having a social day and you're keeping a feed of fish, oh yeah, these are the perfect size to eat. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Look at that. Straight down the hatch. <laughs> and how many casts you put? We've put in like we've peppered that with these. You've put in a few casts with the um, with the with the uh, plastic. You just got to get it right in the head sometimes. Mm -hmm. So he would have just been sitting there waiting, waiting, waiting. That's hit the nail on the head, and he's gone. Thank you. Yep. All right. We get him out. There you go. Let him go. Does pay to change it up every now and again? Oh, you have to, mate. Oh, As you can see, I got how much, You know, yeah. I got like so many rods on the deck. There's, <laughs> you have to have a different lure on. They just, I think they get used to it. Oh, there he is. Got him. Oh, it's a, that's a big pike. That's a mackerel bait. <laughs> Does that count? No, I thought we just said that's minus points. Get off. <laughs> Oh, At least, what's, what's, nah, one times, what's one times zero? <laughs> well, you're negative now. Negatives aren't ne fun. Negative one. The old pike. It's for the big flathead to be here eating. That pike just coughed up that garfish, and that's the lure we're using. If that's not matching the hatch, I don't know what is. Size, profile, colour, it's all there. Just got to put it in front of Flatty now. Yeah. Oh, Dicko. Oh, Dicko. Out. When you said your pull out game was strong, I didn't think you meant that. Pulled out. Alright, fish? Yeah. That might have been a, another 50 odd. Wasn't a huge one. Are you just doing this to make me feel better? Hey? You're just pulling out a fish now just to make. Oh! Oh, he just. His mate ate mine. Bugger! Come on, come back. <laughs> and you moved to seven. If he was the one hitting the uh, defiance, no wonder he didn't get it in his mouth. Yeah, he wasn't the one hitting the defiance. I reckon that was that one that you first met. <laughs> <laughs> that first one that I had had little weight in it. Ah, he just barely hooked him. Looks like his brother. Might have been the same one. <laughs> well, do we count these in your tally? I don't. Excellent. Excellent. It's it's nine if, if we it, do. If it's not if it's not legal. Not right, legal, no deal. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> that works good for my numbers because I'm I'm a fair way behind. But he's he's using plastics. And a small plastic at that. Oh mate, they're all the same size. <laughs> You're gonna win that flathead classic five points at a time. Oh yeah. They're in the little nest there, and they're not getting any bigger. <laughs> they're all there, they're all sitting there. <laughs> Where's the... any of them been legal? Where's it? Nah, oh, one of them. <laughs> Where's their mum? They've got to be sitting down there on a big one. Have to be. Surely. Got him. Oh, good fish. Pop hooked in the back. Look at this, he, he's bridle rigged. He's ready to go back out the back. 
You're not even in, even hooking them in the mouth anymore and I can't catch one. Seems to be the recipe of the day. What's the recipe of the day? Dicko, not Sam. Yeah. <laughs> and the size. Are you kidding? Oh. You've got him, Sam. I've... You've got him, Sam. Oh. oh. You've got him. I thought it was weed. I don't even know what they feel like anymore. Oh, oh what's going on with you? No, it's probably a stingray. Don't talk too oh, much. Oh, really? I don't know. Who knows these oh, days? Oh, it's oh, a flathead. Oh, it's a, it's oh. what's way mine. Oh, I've caught a flathead. Look out. <laughs> My goodness me. What's the time? It's 11 o'clock. We'll call it a... Oh, yeah. <laughs> My goodness me, that is the, oh, I'm going to have to lift him, which is dangerous for the day I'm having. <laughs> well done, Sam. I don't know. I'm not high five you, but. Surely I, we get to give away the prize back just because I actually managed to catch one. I don't know that. My goodness me. I was about to start complaining that I got weed again and I had a fish. That's how out of touch I am today. Oh, you watch me come home with a wet sail. Guys, I'm going to have to show you this one. Usually, Dicko's released about 15 of these. Just in case there's no other evidence of me actually being on this boat today. There you go. I finally caught one. He's come up, slashed it. He's wearing it right across the head. He's a scorer, but not by much. I've got the hang of it now. It's time for me to fire up. <laughs> Thank you, mate. You've taken me off the donut. Onwards and upwards. Well. <laughs> well, guys, there's number two. All right, boys. All right, mate. See you, Wardy. See you, mate. Well, I'm definitely not getting any bigger, guys, but I'm making a charge for a comeback. Tell your mum. Oh, he's all right. Oh, he's doing circle work. He's all right. He walloped it. Struth. Had to be one up here, eh, with all the boats. Had to be one. Oh, is that the fish of the day so far? I don't uh, think so. Not far from it. He's lassoed something fierce. He literally just sat there and did did a circle work. Look, he's wrapped up like a Christmas present. Yeah. He's not too bad. I don't know if we're going to call it a comeback just yet, but it's a good start. It's a good start. That'd probably be, yeah... What do you reckon? 55? Yeah, 53. 53, 54. It's a nice fish. He's shaking the hook out. It was in his mouth. But uh, yeah, it's a good little start. That's three in a row for me. So I'm getting there slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Right, I mate. Thank you. Oh, he's got me lying. I've literally caught him. Does that count again? Look at the camo. Off. Off the edge he goes. <sighs> it's good to catch one. Despite twitching our lures over some prime looking flathead real estate, the rest of the afternoon went by without so much as a sniff. Well, Dicko, mate, a bit of a tough arvo, boy. It certainly was. We should have went home at like 10 o'clock, I reckon. Oh, oh no, because then I would have caught none. Yeah, true. true. No, no. Um, <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> I think we ended. We had good numbers. We ended up on like it would be 14 or so by the end, but just couldn't crack a big one. Surely you're not going to claim the win on a 50, no. 50, 58 or something. Nah, we've got to come back and do it again. Come back? Yeah. There you go. There's still hope for me. Still hope. When are we we're we gonna tomorrow? Yeah, let's do it tomorrow. We're coming back tomorrow. We will crack a big dog. We need one. 58. Just not impressive enough. Nah. Nah. We can do better. Don't get bitter, get better. That's it. We're doing it. Tomorrow, we'll be back. Well, team, 
It is sunrise on day two. <laughs> Dicko, I'm feeling confident. How are you feeling? Yeah, different spot, different area. Did Always have, confident. Did you have a good night's sleep? Yeah, of course I did. Because yeah. I had a ripper and I dreamt a big flathead. <laughs> and I'm going to show you one. All right, cool. First cast? Yeah, why not? Okay. Why not? Too deep. Too deep? <laughs> no, that's, right. what, that's what they want you to think. <laughs> that's where you went wrong. Dicko's already had a cast. Oh, yep. Is what I'd say if I got him. Be an alright one. Just ate that on the paws. Oh, I'm not calling for a net just yet, but he he's a backwards flathead. He is right. he's a backwards flathead. I'll get the net anyway. We'll get the net. First fish of the morning, we don't wanna we don't want a Sammy Hitsky it. Oh it's his twin brother from yesterday. I swear all... Oh, no. <laughs> now look what we've done. That's your problem now. <laughs> I might just cut this one off and retie. Oh, well. At least you caught one. We're on the board. For the morning. I'm, hang on. Yeah. It's a new day. It's a new score, isn't it? Yeah, one right. nil. <laughs> one nil. Yeah, we okay. have had a little tough morning. Oh, you really wouldn't tough. say they're, uh, they're biting their heads off. But it's good to get a little breakthrough. I wasn't going to help you, but oh. I think I might just leave it to you. I reckon you keep casting because I might be here a while. Oh, no, he's just going to roll out now. Yeah, we'll see. See where those trebles are sitting. Oh, yeah, rolling my ball. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a pair of pliers, just oh. so you don't get any hooks in you. That would be lovely, actually. Might go for the big D hook. We're trucking away this morning. That's the first bit of love we've had. That one took the uh, natural mullet colour. And uh, just, that was a big pause actually. I was kind of daydreaming a bit. And uh, big pause, I just felt the line go tick. And it was fish on. Nice little fish, good score in the Flathead Classic. Chasing one a bit bigger today though, a bit bigger. Oh no Dicko, we've given up trophy hunting. Put the light gear back on for a quick little session three and a half inch flat shads I've got a green head on which is the money color you've got a pink head on don't you I've got fat Betty on but mate elephants eat peanuts we're just as likely to get a good fish doing this aren't we oh, 100%. but you know if you are targeting kind of a trophy fish those big lures will not guarantee but it'll kind of your average size is general apart from us <laughs> apart from us this trip was that, oh, Dicko. It's my luck today, mate. Dicko. It has been a bit quiet for you today. I am I am one fish up and a couple of pike, which <laughs> I'm hoping don't make the video. So you'll just have to take my word for it. Should we go for a troll to see if they are on the troll? Oh, Dicko. Is it a flathead? Yeah. Oh, little breakthrough, mate. Oh, little one. We've done it tough. We've, we have. We've almost exhausted our, uh, well, your flathead knowledge and my minimal. Oh, I'm not going to offer you the net for that one. Sorry. No, that's all right. But it's um, it's what's that? Quarter past eleven, and that's my first fish for the day. Yes, and I'm only. Le oh, we're now even, one mm. apiece. This is tough flathead fishing. But it's not always one after another. No, well, we're proving that. I almost thought that was going to saw you off um, on the lift then. Yeah, well. Judging by how you were going. The care factor was zero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they seem to be like all the same size. School size. Need a pair of pliers. I'll tell you what though, real talk. If you were coming out just for a flathead session. Yeah. 
we've had a pretty well yesterday was a really good day and this day we're we're still chipping away we're still boating some nice fish we're just trying to be greedy trying to catch big ones yeah it doesn't always happen that way but it doesn't it doesn't but we're still uh, still putting plenty of fish in the boat if you average it out across the two days yeah anyway i'll let him go get him back try and catch his mum see you fella Oh, that's a good one. Oh, it's cutting water. What is that? It's an eagle ray. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, That's our luck. No. I love it if that wasn't Where have I got him? Oh, yeah, good. A wing. This guy's about to be not happy about this. That's the right sound, a bit of flash, a bit of white flash, beautiful. <laughs> At least I get the net out of something. My 80 centimetre flathead quickly turned into not an 80 centimetre flathead. Oh yeah, there's his little barb. That's him. Oh. Check out that thing. It's what is tough. that? I don't know. It's bone. Yeah, alright, well, there you go. See you, mate. Well, he's richer for the experience. I think we all learnt something then. Yep, good. <laughs> yep. Pretty well just retire off that. Just call it a day. Um, anytime there's a flathead story on the news, they start ringing you up because you're the, the flathead guy. And yep. Oh, man, this is now <laughs> seriously did you see him come up yeah i saw he made it was he any sort <laughs> bloody legal like mate what's going on oh my god this is all getting out of the way saving it all for oh got him, got him on please don't be a stingray oh, oh, oh you've got a soul kidding that's the kind of day it is. <laughs> oh. Can you weigh them in as flattered? <laughs> oh. I haven't caught one of these in years, to be honest. <laughs> That's gold. Stingray, sole. Not many flathead. No, not many flathead. There's our sole fish. We call them the dicko of the ocean. <laughs> There's an our sole. <laughs> oh. Well, we're just going through a bit of a dead part of the tide. We've uh, got the tango shads out. We're going to have a quick troll, see if we can uh, find a bit of a concentration of fish and um, get stuck into a few more. Good way to cover a lot of ground quickly. Find where the fish are holding. Dico. A little trolling nibble. Feel like an all right fish? I don't know. <laughs> don't, don't, don't know. What's an all right fish? Don't know anymore. Oh, what is it? That's not your snapper, is it? It's a trevally. Geez, we're just playing with species. That's all right, it's a fish. It is a fish. Trolling on the tango shed. Buy non-flat fish. Flat-sided, not flat-headed. When in doubt, troll it out, eh, Dicko? No comment. Oh. Yes. Did I not just say, when in doubt, troll it out? He doesn't seem to be giving you much curry. Yeah, if you can do it without standing up, you get extra points. It's actually not that bad, he just didn't fight. <laughs> oh. Well, we've had, a get off. we've had a tough day. <laughs> tough day casting. Had the lures in the water, what, 20 minutes? Flathead number one. I reckon it might be a troll in Arvo Dicko. I reckon so, mate. Yeah. I reckon so. <laughs> 
What else do you do? What else do you do? This is this is the service you get. Sit down fishing. Oh, I tell you what, that back treble. First trolled up flathead out of the Skeeter. Now, there's a first, Sammy. First trolled up flathead out of the Skeeter. I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to hear Troy because we're running out of camera battery. Camera battery. So his his mic is dead. So I'll just relay everything he said. First one out of the Skeeter. First troll. Hopefully first of many. He'd be legal too. Not bad. Dicko running a, a clinic, mate. Did he have a bit more of a go? Did he? He had a little bit more weight and he might be foul hooked. No, no, it's a big dog. But how many hours of casting did we do for two fish? Mm, yeah. And we've caught two and lost, we've missed two as well in, oh, probably half an hour now. Yeah. Just goes to show, keep changing it up until you find what's working. Yeah. I'm on. Go on? Yep. Hey? I had a bite too. I don't think mine's very big. <laughs> I mistook him for a, uh, a weed clump. <laughs> In fact, my strike was just trying to get it off the weed clump. He's not that. I think he'd be legal. Maybe just. He'd be a scorer. He'd be a scorer. He'd be in the 40s. Yeah, he'd be just over, I reckon. I'll tell you what, most of the hits we're having, they're absolutely scoffing these lures. It might be a trolley day. Makes you wonder why we cast it for so long, eh? It does. It's what happens sometimes, but. Yep. Oh. Like you said, you got to mix it up. See you, little fella. We're just having a troll across this bank. And Cord, the big boss of Wilson's, yelled out. And he reckons he's got a good fish on. But he's solo, so we're going to come and have a look at it. Oh, I can see it. <laughs> it's a real one. It's a real one. <laughs> That's the one we've been chasing. Yeah, and, and how many lures did you chuck on this bank? All of them. Yeah. We chucked all of them. Defiance. The pearl. Defiance. Oh, that's a croc. That is. That, that is a croc. It's a croc. Well, there she is, boys, on the defiance. Lovely little fish there. Didn't miss. No, no, I, I fought her out there actually, I was, wasn't really, I managed to, managed to give you boys a quick call up in the middle of it, but uh, no, she got, well that's the advantage of three trebles, isn't it? Yeah. And to be honest, I've, I've only missed one bite on it today, so I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy. There she is, I reckon, you know, 70, 70s plus there, she's a... Lovely little fish on the deformed. It's had all three trebles in her actually, so it's the advantage of three trebles, but yeah, nice fish and real solid. Cracker. Absolute cracker. And honestly, just throwing it up there and twitch, twitch, pause, twitch, twitch, pause. I imagine that's what you boys were doing, but unfortunately that's what we did all day <laughs> and it didn't work out, but it certainly not did. Not for a big one anyway. Not for a bit. Oh, we caught plenty of numbers, but we didn't get our trophy. But this is how deep, this is only what? Half a metre, maybe a, a metre deep. Less, yeah. or point 0.4, and then I threw it up there in about point 0.2. So, and the big girls sitting up there, taking advantage of whatever comes past. So I knew straight away she was a good one, so I gave the boys a call and yeah, show off what the lure can do. Well, guys, you'll be able to hear the buzz of the drone. I couldn't miss this opportunity. Half a metre water, sun's out, and a big flathead. Big flathead release. Right, I caught, mate. Great fish. Yeah, beautiful fish. No, send her away. Oh, stop it.
That's this, come over to a bit of camera work and you get presented with a beer. You must be in a good mood, mate. You must be. Fabulous. Well, good give us a look. Give us a look. Well, I had a pearl, guess where it is? It's on a tree. <laughs> Sorry. Do you want a spare one? I do need a spare one if you got one. You can have this one, but it delivered. The defiance delivered. So, Dicko, as part of our, our challenge, <laughs> can Cord be on my team? Yeah. There we go, you win. Well, there you go. <laughs> We're back on. No, ain't over yet. Well, Dicko reckons it ain't over. That's true, but I've got the lucky lure. So, if Cord's fish is the biggest fish of the day, this lure will also go in the prize pack. This exact lure, you'll be able to see it's got those little hook and teeth marks there. We're back on. We're back on. Good stuff, mate. No well worries, done. Amy. It delivered. It delivered. <laughs> well, that's a mood changer. Beer. I've got the secret lure. Got a bit of scent on there. By default, I'm in front. <laughs> I just gotta stop Dicko. Oh, there was a fish. Oh, it might be starting to happen with. Oh, you're kidding. Oh! Dicko, stop that. Yeah, I wish that, that we got that other one. Yeah, we just scared one, and then Dicko got slammed in as well. Uh, yeah, I think it might be starting to happen to Tarbo. And didn't we stick around for it though? Yes, mate. We we soldiered through some slow hours. Not good oh. quality. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome, Timmy. That, that's a little stack. It's not. Ooh. Oh. Whoa. Not good quality. It's not, but it just goes to show what'll eat it when they're in the mood. That's yeah. a nice fish. Was that first cast? Yeah. Oh. The one that took off was all right. Yeah, that was a good fish. That was. Oh, oh, that's a good fish. Good fish? That's a good fish. Yep. Good fish. Yep, that slammed it. Oh, that, I hope it's a good fish. I've just called it. Feels all right. Jeez, he smacked that on the paws. Absolutely smacked it. He hasn't done a lot yet, but he he hasn't done the small fish head shakes. He's just you know how the big fish just playing along, Dicko. Yeah. I'm hoping this is one of them. Oh, he looks all right. Oh, mm, no, 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 it's not. <laughs> is it? It's a brim. Is it? Is that a brim? It might be a trevally. Oh, I think this is negative points. If it, I think you lose already. Hang on, if this is a brim, this is going to be a solid brim. <laughs> Minus points for a brim? No, not if it's over 30. What's a trevally, is it? No, no it's a brim. <laughs> 130 mil lure, and a brim has just crunched it to the extent that I thought it may have been a good flathead. And it's still going. Negative points for a brim. It's a, it's a good brim though. It's a big brim. Can I call for the net on a brim? <laughs> no. Just call it in. No, he's only got one treble. Sammy. Oh, but it's a nice brim. Here we go. He's got a few hooks in it. Oh, he's a hook. <laughs> <laughs> that is a donkey brim. Have a go at that. That's 130 mil lure, so that'll give you some some bit of an idea. <laughs> That'd be getting close. That'd be high 30s, I reckon. <laughs> I'm gonna get a photo of that. Oh, hooks out. Well, guys, the other camera's dead, so this is gonna be water watered audio. But <coughs> see you, mate. Well, guys, we're not giving up just yet. The sun's falling out of the sky. We're giving it one last crack. But uh, we're gonna have a bit of a tackle chat while we're, oh, while we're here. Just give you guys a bit of an idea of the gear we're using uh, for both these jerk baits, the Defiance, and the plastic controlling we did earlier in the day. So 
I'm using the seven foot blade and tails. This is a six to 12 pound. It's a one piece. I've got a 3,000 size, oh sorry, it's a two and a half thousand size reel. And I've got eight pound braid on there and I've got that through to 12 pound leader. And um, look, you could probably go a touch, touch heavier on the leader if you were in a spot where you knew there was some really big fish that could possibly scoff that lure right down. But as a general rule, I found 12 pound to be pretty handy and you get a good cast with that lighter braid too. Troy, what are you using? Uh, at the moment, I'm using exactly the same as you. Okay, right. righto, we're, we're on, on the money then. Yeah, but I have been using the um, the 6 foot 10 version, which is a little bit shorter. Just, I think it, with these um, Defiance lures, it just gives a little bit more um, whip in the action. You yeah, know? it's got a bit of a stiffer tip. Yeah. I, had a, I had a quick play with that before, and it's, it's more... It's similar to like a bait cast rod where you 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 got that harder tip where you can really whack the lure and get it to dance on the spot, and is that's a similar way. It's a six to twelve, just six foot ten, isn't it? That's it. Yeah. 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 Just a slightly um, slightly shorter rod, which just, just a gives you a bit hard when you're working your lure down like we are. Just makes it a little bit a little bit easier, I think. Yeah. Nice. Nice. I'm a sucker for longer rods, so I'll go a seven foot every day just for the extra cast. I reckon that's my theory, and I'm sticking yeah. to it. Oh, uh, in the in that range of rods, we've we've gone through, and there's all different lengths. So there's six foot eight, there's six foot ten, there's seven footers. We haven't put any other longer ones in there yet, but they'll come. <laughs> I'll quickly between cask the uh, the plastics rods we're using. Oh, you're using about a thousand size reel, aren't you? Yeah, that's a, that's a little 2,000 size one. A little, one. little 2,000. Yeah. Oh. Again, another blade and tails. I was using 7 foot, the 8 to 12 pound one piece. I've got a, another 2,500. That's only got about 5 pound braid. And um, oh, I had 10 pound leader on there just because I was using a small plastic at the start. And there's a fair chance I'll scoff that down. Dicko. I was using a 7 foot version. The 7 foot for version yeah. for trolling. And uh, a 2,000 size reel, same same sort of braid. Yeah, that's about six pound that one. Six pound. I've got a, um, I think I've got a 12 pound leader on that one. 12 pound. Yep. There you go, guys. If you are going to get into your flathead fishing, grab yourself some kit like that, and you'll be uh, having some fun in no time. What do you reckon? We've got time for one more, don't we? One more big fish. Oh, mate, we've got to. Surely we're due. We are due. <laughs> we're well and truly overdue. We are overdue. Well. No, 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 it's... Oh. Yes. oh. Yes. It was the twitch, and it went like that and bounced, and I was like... Oh. Oh, I've done the same. same tree. Oh, no, this is, this is a fish. This is a fish. Oh, this is a big one. This is a big one. Oh, he's on the top shaking his head. Oh, good. Oh, my goodness. Good fish. Is my camera recording? Yes. Oh, so guys. All the lights are on. So guys, I, I dead set that hit, and I thought it was a snag. That I thought that was a snag. I I stop. Oh no, this is this is big. Oh, he's shaking his head. Oh, please stay in hooks. This is our, This is the one. Oh. Oh, nice fish. Oh, oh, nice fish. Get that net under there, yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes! High five. Have a go at that! <laughs> oh, my goodness me. Oh. Hell, you are kidding me. So I chucked that there, this fish ate it, and I went, oh, oh. I've snagged. I'm there trying to jiggle it off the snag. Dicko hooks the snag as well. And the snag moved! Oh! Not the size of it. Have a go at the size of this fish. Oh my goodness me. Talk about right on the death. That is... What do you reckon? That's that's high oh, set. That's got to go 80s. Uh, oh. Yeah, high 70s. Have you got a measure? No. Oh, he doesn't have a measure. That is a big flathead. Let's get him out on the deck. We'll, Make sure we look after this big girl and try not to do any damage to her. Oh, hook's out. Lucky. Put them in there for a minute. You cool with that? Yeah. 
That is an absolute snodger. Oh. <laughs> you are kidding. We've fished two days for this big girl. We've caught plenty of flathead and look, we're, we're gonna, it's gonna sound like we're a little bit disappointed at some stages during the day, but uh, <laughs> we were just being spoiled buggers. That is 100% all we were being, but we just wanted a big girl and we found it. It's <laughs> unreal. Right on the death. Well, we're just getting the, the lure out of the net and getting the camera ready. We're just looking after this fish. These big flathead, they're the big breeders, so you want to keep them in as good a condition as possible. So once you get your hook out, give them a drink, get everything ready, and then, uh, then you can take your photos, but you really want to just look after them. This is a absolute, Oh, we've worked hard for this fish. <laughs> Struth. I'll tell you what. Oh, I'm, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I do not want to know what to say. That is unreal. What an absolute cracker of a fish and an awesome way to end the second day. We got our prize. Let's get her back. Give her a bit of a swim. She's getting her breath back. I reckon she is ready to go. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so stoked about that. We worked so hard for that fish. As I said, we caught plenty of fish over the two days. We caught a stack of fish. Normal session, you'd be stoked, but we really had it set in our minds that we wanted to catch at least one big fish on the new Defiance. And well, we only caught one, but two big ones came from the Defiance, so I'm going to give it the tick of approval. We got unlucky on a few fish. They weren't really firing, that's pretty fair to say, but we got our prize at the end. What an absolute cracking couple of days. Stoked! Well, Dicko, mate, <laughs> I don't think you could ask for a better final fish than that. We've worked hard, there's no doubt about it, but... Uh, mate, that was gold. We got our prize. We put the cast in, I'll tell you that, but... Oh, oh. Look at the sun, it's this, just about going down. The sun's just about gone, have a look at this. We put the cast in and we got our reward. I don't know, we, we got some fair, we got a fair few fish. Oh, that, that was a fun, hard two days, but it was fun. It, it certainly wasn't firing, like we hoped it would be firing a bit more than that, but we picked fish off pretty consistently throughout the day and we found our little patches, little bite times, um, you know, we varied up our technique as you usually would in a uh, in a day's fishing, but we, I think I think we uh, we just had a little win there. We oh. got a, we got a little bit luck, a little bit of luck there from the the fishing gods that went right. Oh lads, you've earned it. Here you go. <laughs> Especially after we saw Cord who came out for the afternoon, he got that nice one. So that was a good fish. I said it once. I said a thousand times. We were due, and I was just lucky enough to have the lure in the right place at the right time. Mate, thank you very much for showing us around. No worries, mate. Thank Too you for, easy. Uh, for letting me use those defiances first. No worries. That's pretty cool. So, guys, if you are looking to check out the defiances, they all have the link to the Wilson website below. You'll be able to find all the lures we used today. Uh, they will be in stores very soon, so make sure you check them out. And the prize pack. Not only did Cord, he, he said he was on my team, but... I managed to get my own fish to uh, to to win it for you guys. So we have a two hundred dollar prize pack plus the lucky lure. It'll be coming out to one lucky prize winner. Now all you have to do is head over to the Wilson Fishing Instagram page, look for this photo, and uh, you can find all the terms and conditions under that, mate. Once again, thank you very much for having me out. No worries, mate. Guys, if you like. Oh, sorry, I cut, I cut you off. That's all right. Any time, though. Used to that. He did see. <laughs> there has been some banter thrown over the course of two days. Definitely been a lot of banter. Guys, if you did like or learn something from this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, leave us a comment below, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. There's new fishing videos coming every single week. And that is where we leave you. We'll catch you next week for another Sam Hitsky fishing adventure. Almost stuffed it. Still lost words. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for tuning in.